YouTube, it is Nessa from Nessa Aesthetics, and I don't know why I sound so excited right now. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a product review slash try on, out, try, try. I'm gonna try it. It is the Pacifica Coconut Dissolve Cleansing Oil Rehab. It is this guy right here. It is a Pacifica product. I really like their lotions. And we saw this at the store, we as in me and my mother, and thought, why not try it out? So I am in the bathroom again, which is why the setup is weird. Haven't been in my normal setup lately, so I'm sorry about that. But I have had this makeup on all day. Actually, what time is it? It is 7.30 and I put on my makeup around noon, I think. Somewhere around there. So it's been a good seven-ish hours. And if you want to see the get ready with me that I did this makeup for, you can check down in the description below. I will have it linked because I put on my makeup and my little pit bull puppy makes an appearance. So you should go watch it and like it just because he's adorable. It's a win-win. So I'm going to stop rambling and it's going to be a shorter video because all I'm doing is testing out a makeup remover. So first of all, I should probably wash my hands. Should have done that beforehand. I'm gonna take spiky bracelet off because that's a hazard when your hands are up by your face. All right, so it says, party then magically clean it up. Now plus coconut and flower oils for all skin types, especially stressed. It is 100% vegan and cruelty free. It's a hippie brand it seems like and I love a good hippie brand. It says, dissolve away day or night with this effective oil that melts all product away. So the direction says warm oil in dry hands and then gently massage over face. Use wet hands or warm wet cloth and gently massage product onto face. Rinse thoroughly and pat your beautiful face dry. So it says you can apply it dry and then wet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, let's smell it first. It says coconut. Oh, it smells like coconut. It smells really, it smells like coconut water. So if you like the smell of coconut water, you're already winning here. So I'm just gonna put it, I should probably back up a little so you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put the oil in my hand, just do three pumps, cause I have a lot of makeup on. I have Kat Von D foundation and concealer and lipstick. Um, and a lot of eyeliner and mascara. So there's a lot for this to come through. It says warm it in your hands and then put it on your face. So wait, whoa. Well, I need to pull the mirror up. It took the lipstick. I have the hardest time taking off Kat Von D lipsticks. And that's impressive. By the way, I'm not sponsored. This is all my honest opinion. Paid for this product with, well, not my money. My mom bought it. But she said I could try it out, so not sponsored. I have no reason to lie to you. This is working really well, actually. So I took it all over my face, put it in the eyebrows. I have lots of eyeshadow black eyeshadow in my eyebrows, and I haven't reapplied. I only have the three pumps that came out. I'm just moving it around, and it looks like it's coming out pretty well. Look at my eyebrows, they look normal again. I did really dramatic eyebrows because I have fluffy hair today. Let's see the eyeliner. Whoa. Mascara? Does it take mascara off? Because I have a hard time getting mascara off sometimes, especially waterproof. It's like, no, I'm on your face now. The mascara, I'm having to work a little bit harder to get off. And I don't use a high-end mascara. I use the Maybelline uh, Volume Express Falsies, dude. Okay, so it's having a little trouble with the mascara, but other than that, everything else seems to be coming off really well. And it says, now use a little bit, it says use a little bit more product with water. 
So I got my hands wet and I put one more pump and I'm gonna, oh, that really took it off. It doesn't feel very abrasive either, which is really good because I have sensitive skin and my mom has sensitive skin. So if it's an abrasive product and it's like, and it feels really harsh, it's probably not gonna be a winner. I kind of like this. I'm just making sure I get all the makeup off. And it says, rinse your face when you're done. I cannot stay in the frame to save my life today. So, I'm not gonna use any different kind of soap. I'm only using the oil. I'm gonna go rinse it off real quick and I will come back for the final thoughts. Okay, my face is a little red because I just dried it off and anytime I touch my face it gets red. That's not due to the cleaner, but I really like this. It's super gentle and it did a really good job. I was worried that the lipstick wasn't gonna come off because Kat Von D lipsticks, I have a really hard time getting off sometimes because they're so good. They're really everlasting lipsticks. So I was worried about that, but I'll get a little closer. Don't mind the, the redness, but other than a little bit of the mascara, I think it got all of it off. So not the best for mascara, but everything else really came off. So I would consider this a win and I barely used any product at all. I bet this would last a long time. Also, my skin doesn't feel oily now that I've washed it off at all. It feels really soft and it doesn't feel oily, which I was I was a little worried about. But yeah, I think that's a win. So, cool. I'm not mad. Thanks for watching and thanks for being here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I will see you guys in the next video. So, come back. Bye.